Welcome to the Tower Tree Schools CSS Float tutorial. With CSS Float, an element can be pushed to the left or right, allowing other elements to wrap around it. These four images are floated next to each other. They're all floated to the left, and each image will move as far to the left as it can go. If we remove this image, all the images following it will float further left. Let's look at an example with code. Here we have an image floated to the right and the text following it flows around it. Anything after a floating element will flow around it. Elements before the floating element will not be affected. Let's try changing the float from right to left. The text still flows around it, but now the image is on the left side. If you place several floating elements after each other, they will float next to each other if there's room. Let's look at an image gallery using float. These images are floating next to each other and will flow nicely even if we resize the browser window. Here we specify the width and height and margin of the images and they're all floated to the left. Now, what happens if we put an H3 element between this row of images and this row? The text flows next to the image. That's because elements after a floating element will flow around it. To avoid this, we can use the clear property. The clear property specifies that floating elements are not allowed on the left, right, or both sides of an element. Now the H3 element will not allow floating elements next to it. On the W3 Schools tutorial page there are more examples and we list all the CSS properties used for floating. And there's a link for each property that goes to our CSS reference where you can find more information for any CSS property. This concludes our tutorial for CSS float. Thank you for watching.